Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today I'm going to show you five hacks that I use on my workbench. But if you're new here today, I invite you to subscribe, click the little notification bell, and let's get looking at the five hacks for the workbench. One of the main things with almost every workbench is assembly and mine is no different and I have this uh, 90 degree frame that I use a lot and particularly I use it for things like picture frames and what happens is I've got a perfect, I've made sure that I've got a perfect 90 degree angle in here and you'll notice that it's open a little bit in the end here so that I make sure that if there's points that I can get them right in there there's nothing going to jam in there and also if you look underneath here you'll notice there's a hole underneath on all the sides here and that's so that I don't get any sawdust trapped because that would tend to make this maybe not sit perfectly uh, so it always works perfectly and you can tell if you've got a good corner I use this for picture frames and you know you only need to do one side once you do the other sides they're automatically going to be uh, if, if all your frames or all your pieces are exactly the same size, it's automatically going to be all at 90 degrees. But not just for picture frames, I also use it for uprights. Uh, for example, uh, assembling boxes and things like that. Uh, now I know that they're at perfect 90 degrees there and I can do the other four corners as well. Very handy little assembly thing and pretty easy to make and uh, I use it a lot as <laughs> you can tell by all the glue and marks on it. Frequently I'm working with long pieces of wood, uh, for example I'm putting dowels in with my doweling machine or maybe I'm planing a long board and if they don't fit nicely in my, in my vise I have a little flip out helper on the end and I just put that on there, now I can tighten my vise down, I've got really good support for drilling holes or planing and let's have a look at that, it's such a simple thing but it works so well. So look at this thing, all this is is a, it's an old kitchen cabinet hinge and you know I picked these things up used for I think a buck at the uh, Habitat store and they just flip out like that, you just put some screws in it with some little bit thinner wood and look at it, it just sits flat, it never gets in the way and when you want it, it just flips out. Very handy little assistant right there. Well the, the workbench is where the wood vices live and you can see mine's beat up pretty good because I get a lot of use out of this and one of the things that I, one of the things that I use it for um, is I make these little mini miter boxes and they have a, a straight line through them and a 45 degree angle and sometimes I'll add some other ones to it depending on what I'm doing and it works really well, I can put the whole thing you know it's small enough because it's just a mini one, I can put the whole thing in the vise or it's got this, I put this tang on the bottom of it and I can just put just, I can lift it up a little bit if I want it a little bit higher off the work surface here and I've used, I've made this, I've used the circular saw blades in my table saw to make these cuts so it's a nice fine cut. If you haven't seen that video I'll put a link to that so you'll be able to see using circular saw blades in your table saw, a video I did a few weeks ago uh, and it's really handy especially for things like smaller pieces and, and doweling, you know doweling always wants to roll on you when you're cutting it and in here you can put it on either side and get a nice straight cut, you can even clamp it if you want uh, if it's rolling around on you and you can of course you can make smaller cuts on here, this is a really handy little uh, addition to your work vise here. Well I, I love the wood vise but from time to time I need a machinist vise, especially if I'm doing things like I'm cutting metal rod or bolts or something that I need a little bit more grip than what this will give me. And I used to have a machinist vise on top of my workbench here but I just found it was getting in the way too often so now I keep it under my bench and when I want it I can just lift it up and it too has a tang on it and now I can just tighten that in my wood vise now I've got a good solid as much as I need 
uh, machinist vise up here and I like it because it's it lifts things up so it's a little closer for me to see sometimes I need something a little bit closer but now I can also convert it back to a wood vise because right beside it I keep some wooden jaws that I made for it and now I can put wooden jaws back in and now it's converted back to a wood vise so if I want to use something that's just a little bit higher up if I'm doing some carving or something just another handy thing that you can do with your workbench. Well that concludes my video for today. Five things, little additions that you can do to your workbench to make your woodworking more enjoyable and more accurate because that's important too. Don't forget if you haven't already subscribed I invite you to do that. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Whatever you do keep on watching. I got lots of videos coming.